Public health officials are urging we double down on safety precautions. Right now, the rate of catching coronavirus here is more than double that of anywhere else in the country. Maddie O'Neill explains why they're cautioning ahead of the holidays and shows us a tool to really put it all in perspective. Maddie. Well, we're learning that 25 to 30 percent of the people in Dane County who recently came down with COVID-19 had also recently attended a gathering. Many of those also say, or many of the others who got COVID got it from a household member who also went to a gathering. So how do you know what your risk is of encountering someone who has COVID? It comes down to how many people there are and where you are. We can't see the virus, but it's there. This tool puts it on display. It's bright red. Uh, it shows that there, we should be on very high alert for this. You're looking at a collaborative project between professors at Georgia Tech and researchers at Stanford, laying out your chances of running into a person with COVID-19 if you attend a gathering in your county. We know what is driving this expansion. Dane County leaders point to gatherings with friends and family as large drivers of community spread. Contact tracing notes regularly mention the words birthday, football, wedding, church, party. With this tool, you can see the risk that at least one person with COVID is attending a 10-person event is estimated at 34% in Dane County. In Dodge County, where the risk seems to be highest out of the neighboring counties, that percent is up to 71. That's a very high number. Um, I know that Wisconsin has some of the highest numbers in the country right now. When you raise the amount of people at these hypothetical events, those numbers only go up. In Dane County, a 15-person gathering gives you a 47% chance of running into someone with COVID. 84% in Dodge County. Head to a gathering with 25 people in Dane County and your risk is up to 60%. 95% in Dodge. At gatherings of 100 people, most counties in our viewing area hit higher than 99% risk. I am asking you to lean in. Leaders and researchers hope some perspective will be enough to keep people home. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't get together with 10 people. So this tool doesn't take into account mask wearing or social distancing, only location and crowd size. So keep in mind that you're likely more safe going to a grocery store than you would be going to say a dinner party. We do have a link to this tool on our website.